What's up everybody, it's Critical. I know most of you have already heard the good news. The juicing company Juicero recently shut down. For those of you that aren't familiar with Juicero, it was basically just a middle schooler's Lego project that was designed to squeeze money out of consumers by very slowly squirting diarrhea from a pouch into a glass. Now while the Juicero may have died, its story doesn't stop there. The father of the Juicero, Doug the Slug Evans as I like to call him, well it's not just as I like to call him, his name is Doug Evans but I kind of throw the slug in there because he looks like a fucking slug and it rhymes with Doug, it's a beautiful play on words I know, it's clever stuff. But anyway, Doug Evans is out there still doing stupid shit with stupid ideas, and recently he brought to light something I had no idea about, a water fasting trend, but not just regular water, raw water. And I was blown away by this, that people would actually even think this is some type of viable dieting trend to improve health. In a nutshell, the raw water fasting trend is people will get raw, untreated water where they don't take any living organisms out or any of the bad shit in water out and you just drink it as is. And you do that for five or so days with no food and somehow it's supposed to improve your health and they call it biohacking. I'm not making up that term. I know that term sounds like it's straight out of a bad indie movie off of a $50 budget, but they actually call it biohacking. These festering fuck stains actually believe that drinking raw, untreated water is good for them. So I'm excited for the inevitable cholera outbreak that will occur from this dieting trend. But what's really sad is it's not just the, the manipulators here that probably don't actually do the raw water trend for a while. They just sell this extremely overpriced water to very gullible and stupid people who see these perceived geniuses doing this trend. So they hop on to try and self-remedy themselves and then they end up shitting themselves to death. And that's really sad, but let's stay on topic here. So Doug Evans posted about how he's going to be going on a five day or more raw water diet. And so here's fingers crossed that he'll contract Giardia or something along those lines. The brand of raw water he's using is from Live Water. So I went on their website. It's so poorly designed. It looks straight out of the late 90s. And it's the worst pseudoscience piece I've ever read. And it's filled with grammar and spelling mistakes. I'm just going to read a little bit of this to you. Imagine its journey as it's flowing through vast networks of crystal-lined lava tubes to the surface. Major science has concluded that there... Wrong form of there. I know elementary school science reports can be kind of difficult to write, but I'm going to have to deduct a few points for that one there, sport. Is a body of water with a larger volume than all our oceans combined in the core of the Earth. Mm-hmm. Yes, makes sense. This is the Earth's way of cleansing water and offering it back to us with a fresh new start. Oh yes, that fresh new start being in a hospital bed. Let's scroll down a little bit more. The extensive water analysis shows super high levels of natural silica. Silica is essentially pure liquid crystals. Silicone holds information and energy in a unique way. That's why all our devices run off them, hence the name Silicone Valley. Imagine how it would feel to upgrade your brain's entire operating system to the best computer chips available. Yes, the best computer chips, the Doritos brand, which is a naturally occurring microbe in the water that they like to manufacture, I imagine. Silica is also known as the beauty mineral, very rarely found in any food or supplements. So, I mean, imagine how great it'd be to upgrade your entire brain's operating system to the latest version. You don't even have to go through live water for this. You know what? I'll do it for only $20 a month. If you send me $20 a month, I've actually hacked into the natural water here and extracted the silica myself. So I can upgrade your brain's operating system. Just send me $20 and I'll send the uh, drivers over to you. I'll give you a little uh, Dropbox link for them. It's just, this whole thing just keeps getting worse and worse. Let's go to the conclusion. In its natural cycle, water is infinitely chemically and energetically complex. Water goes down into the soil and becomes the perfect probiotic as it passes through microbes and microorganisms in the humus. It picks up bioavailable monoatomic elements and minerals that just can't be replicated. We have done our best to keep it pristine. Read on to find out what distinguishes our water from every other source available. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. Our services are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. At least they cover their ass at the end there with all these outrageous claims and the absolute nonsense that they spew throughout this entire fucking page. I just want to make this clear. Nature is not on your side. There's a reason why people these days are living way, way, way longer on average than anyone before us. And it's because we understand what needs to be put into this shit in order to increase longevity. Nature is not on your side. Living like some fucking troglodyte from a thousand years ago isn't going to make you healthier. You're just going to kill yourself. 
I just don't understand how people think because we treat water and do these things that it's making our dicks smaller and making us less healthy. That's not the case. It, I just don't understand this idea that nature is some entity that wants all of us to live long and prosper, but humans are corrupting it and perverting it into this horrible abomination that we have these days. It's so incredibly sad. Every day you walk outside and you're not mauled by an animal, that is you defying nature's course. Every day a baby is born without polio, that is you slapping nature in the face. Going out and buying expensive, dangerous shit in order to live like our ancestors who were wild and free, living off of what nature provided for them, will do nothing but fuck you up. But yeah, fuck you, Doug Evans. I hope there's not a whole lot of people out there that fell for this raw water scam, and if there is, Godspeed to ya. That's it. See ya.